Well, welcome fellow travelers, your traveling buddy here, coming to you today from Mount Hope Cemetery, right here in Lansing, Michigan. And today, I'm going to tell you the, uh, visit the grave and tell you the story of the founder of Sparrow Hospital. Anybody that's from the Lansing area, uh, their big hospital here is Sparrow Hospital. And he is buried right here in Mount Hope Cemetery. So travel with me, will you? Now right here, and right by next to where Randy is, if you watch my other video, right here is the big stone. I've showed it before. It's a sparrow. And right out here is, out in front, is all their graves. See, Edward Grant, the sparrow, Mary Henriette, And it says uh, Edward Wheeler Sparrow. Uh, here's this one. Snow's deep. <laughs> Get that snow off of there. That's Helen Grant Sparrow. She even got like a little symbol on there. Pretty cool. And oh, there's actually a Lansing one right next to her. Alicia J. Lansing. Hmm. Right here is the family memorial to Sparrow. So I'll tell you the story of the founder of Sparrow Hospital. Edward Wheeler Sparrow was born in Dublin, Ireland in 1846. By any estimation, Edward Wheeler Sparrow had already led a remarkable life by the turn of the last century. Born to a well-do parents in Ireland, he came to America in 1858 at the age of 12. Traveling west, he had landed several jobs, including being a page in the Michigan State Legislature and a clerk in the dry, uh, dry goods operation. As he saved his money, he invested in real estate, eventually owning valuable Lansing, Michigan property, including 16 blocks in downtown Lansing. In 1870s, the young man partnered with William uh, Noel, establishing sawmills and intensive lumber operations in the Northwest. Before moving to New York City, in addition to his lumber and real estate interests, he had held organizations, the city, the uh, National Bank in Lansing, Michigan. He held, headed for 20 years, developed iron resources in Brazil, and was president of the Lansing Wheelbarrow Company. Sparrow married Helen Teresa Grant in 1896. And the couple had a son, Edward Grant Sparrow. Just three years after their marriage, Teresa died. On June 30th, 1903, Edward married Margaret B. Beatty, daughter of Clayman Charles Beatty. Margaret was well educated, having attended Vassar, Vassar College. They would have one daughter, Margaret. Alicia. In 1910, Sparrow purchased the older house uh, at number 41 East 68th Street, formerly home to John Terry Gardiner uh, Gard and his wife. On May 25th, the New York Tribune reported that the architectural firm of Parrish and Schroeder had filed plans for a six-story mansion on this site. The facade will be of a brick, a trimming of limestone, said to said the article. The plans place the cost of construction of sixty thousand dollars, about one point six five million today. Sparrow would not enjoy his new mansion for long. The 67-year-old fell ill in winter of 1913 
and died in the house on February 21st. A funeral was held in Mace, uh, Manson and on February 24th and another in Lansing, Michigan where he was buried to the following day. Sparrow Hospital was founded in 1896 when the Women's Hospital Association supported the doctor and one nurse out of a rented house. In 1910, Edward J. W. Sparrow donated land on East Michigan Avenue near the Michigan State Capitol and $100,000 to help build the hospital. The hospital opened in 1912. In 2008, a 10-story addition, the Sparrow Tower was completed. The $160 million, 450 square foot addition house the hospital emergencies departments. All right, my fellow travelers, that's going to be about it for this uh, little history of the founder of Sparrow Hospital. I hope you enjoyed that, and you know anybody that lives around here, maybe you know a little bit of, know, know a little bit more about the the founder of that hospital. It's a huge hospital. They, you know, it's the biggest one around here. So, and that's the, who's founded it right there. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share me out. Share me out on all your social media. Tell your friends, tell your family about me. Uh, so I can continue traveling and tell you the stories of people like this. Also leave me a comment. Any comments appreciated. Any ideas for me to do, let me know. I just might show up and do it. So until next time, my fellow travelers, I'll see you around the mitten.